and traffic together. Not expecting any storms, but we could see our first chance of uh, some possible precipitation in our area, right, Michelle? It's been a while since live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar has been scanning the skies and actually finding any showers across our area. And that hasn't changed here first thing this morning, but we do have some showers off to our north and west over parts of New York and now making their way into uh, southern Vermont this morning and we're going to keep an eye on those showers as our computer models do bring at least the chance of a passing shower sprinkle into our area as the day goes on. So this is just the beginning. What we're tracking here some changes finally after more than a week and a half of dry weather we have some extra clouds, higher humidity returning and there's at least a slight shower risk as we head into uh, not only today but into the weekend. Keeping an eye again on Karen in the Gulf. It's a little bit weaker today. Uh, winds of about 60 miles an hour and could make landfall on Sunday as a strong tropical storm. The forecast no longer has it strengthening into a hurricane. Uh, unsettled start next week. We are looking still at that risk of showers likely for Monday and perhaps into early on Tuesday. Here's Karen right now and the center of the storm is actually displaced from a lot of the clouds and the thunderstorms that you see here. 58 mile an hour sustained winds gust to nearly 70. The track from the National Hurricane Center brings this storm uh, as we head into the weekend over the outer edges of uh, southeastern Louisiana and then perhaps making landfall in uh, Alabama or the Florida Panhandle and from there the remnants may actually stay for further to the south. So we were thinking that we maybe get some tropical downpours. That's still a possibility. Certainly not locked in that will have any effects in our area from what's left of Karen. But live city cam in Providence right now, it is dry, 53 degrees and a calm wind, humidity at about 90%. 50 Smithfield, 62. If you're headed up to Boston for the game this afternoon, it will be still warmer than average, but not the warmth that we've had over the last few days. Here are the clouds and overspreading our area early this morning in the showers that you can see now tracking to the east. This is along the warm front and so by the time uh, the showers reach us a lot of them have fizzled out. This is seven o'clock this morning so let's put this into motion for you and you can see just a couple of sprinkles or light showers up and around the Boston area so bring that raincoat if you're headed up to Fenway. Later on this evening and tonight we'll keep the chance of a shower in the forecast or the first part of the night and then at seven o'clock tomorrow morning lots of clouds around those clouds may break up for a little partial sun for Saturday afternoon and most if not all of your Saturday looks dry though I think both weekend days we start off with some of that uh, fog and low cloud cover. For this afternoon, well, the clouds winning out over the sunshine. 73 degrees downtown, 72 North Providence. Doesn't mean we won't see a little hazy sun at times, but just not the bright skies we've had the last few days. I have us at 72 in Riverside, 73 Garden City, TF Green at 73, 71 in Warwick. Coastline today, about 70. Winds will turn to the southeast. It'll be very light today. Just a spotlight shower, Charlestown. Hope Valley at 73, lots of dry periods as well. During the day today, mostly cloudy with a shower. Boroughville, Johnston at about 73, and in southeastern Massachusetts, highs in the low 70s. Spotty shower or a sprinkle for a seven day future cast. So I have most of the weekend dry clouds, some limited sunshine, low and mid 70s. The temperatures for Sunday are tricky depending on if our front can make it through the area. If it does, and we get some sunshine. Those temperatures may climb all the way up into the mid uh, to even upper 70s. So Monday, Right now, Monday to Monday night is our best chance of seeing rainfall. Some of it could be heavier at times. And again, there's a big question about whether we get any of Karen's remnants around here. Looking like any showers early Tuesday should clear out and Wednesday and Thursday looking dry and even still slightly warmer than average. Let's go out to.